black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Hope you're doing very well. Back with another one today. Uh waking up this morning and seeing a crazy headline. Uh Juice World. Young artist. Dead. Crazy. Weird. You guys know, normally I have no social commentary. I don't really go too deep or buy into the whole, you know, popularity thing of people and what's happening. But I'll say this, like Mac, like Mac Miller, like kind of hurt my heart. Weirdly, uh, Juice World is affecting me differently than I thought. Not as much as Mac. Uh, but it is, I don't know, it just, it's, it feels, it feels not similar, but it's affecting me more than I thought. So we'll talk about it. Also, I have some McDonald's here. I ordered a delicious belt, bacon, egg, lettuce, tomato, cheese, things like that on an everything bagel, as you can see here. I also have a couple Southwest burritos and two hash browns, and then we got sauces and stuff like that. So before we do anything more, we must a pour. You guys get to see much more of the pour. This might be the new pour cam. I don't know. Tell me if you like it. Tell me if you don't. I think I'm into it. You get to see the whole pour cam. And the fact that I didn't realize this earlier in my life is ridiculous. I should have known this forever, but here's the thing. Sometimes I have too much food on the board. Sometimes I have too much food on the board. If it's like a pasta video or lasagna or things like that, I can't put it up there, so I can't be consistent. But on the videos like this, I can do that. And then I spill and I make the board wet and stupid. Anyways, let's get into today's video and talk about this unfortunate situation. Let's get a bite of this, this belt, this bagel, and then we discuss. I can't even express to you how happy that makes me. Normally, McDonald's bagel witches, that's a bagel sandwich by the way, are pretty dry and this one is saucy and doing the most and I'm extravagantly here for it it's all good Y'all know that these hash browns <laughs> are what's up. McDonald's hash browns are hands down the best hash browns in the W. And by the W, I mean the world. And you know this, man. All right, so as genuinely as I can put it, R.I.P. Juice World. 
insane crazy crazy insane 21 years old way too young to be dead And he was at such a point in his life where he was like, he, like, Juice World was on, like, some different come up shit. Like, he was really, he was really, like, standing out. In his own lane. As an artist. Now. I'm conflicted. A little bit. With these. New era. Rap. kids and I say it like that because I'm conflicted about their title as rap like I don't I just don't basically agree with their title as like rap I respect their artistry I love the music that's cool like to me, Juice World was like combining almost like Blink One Eighty Two, like some punk shit, like some like whiny teen punk shit with trap beats. And I'm down with it. I'm here for it. I'm I I, I completely respect what he was up to in terms of his artistry. Like I'm super down. And that's like a new wave too. Like. Just once again, like XXX Tentacion and like Lil Peep, like those kind of dudes, they were on that wave, and it was a new wave. It was definitely, definitely a new wave, and I don't want to be. As someone who makes music, I never want to be like an old head. I never want to be like a hater. Wow. These McDonald's wraps are so good. I love these breakfast Southwest burritos, by the way. But yeah, I never want to be an old head. I never want to be a hater. I'm completely open to... Um, musical progression. And the blending of genres and the landscape changing. Because the youth will always change the landscape. Especially music art creative fields the new you know 15 to 25 those people are always going to be dictating generating and creating the new shit and I feel like personally Juice World was doing that in his own way. But he kind of had a lot of power and a lot of influence on this new ship.
that said, he was very outward about his proclivities, his tendencies, his drug use and shit. Like, he, he outwardly admitted that he gets fucked up. He likes to get fucked up. And, I mean, I guess long story short, it's said on the news that he's dead from a seizure walking through an airport, which sounds pretty natural. But he had no like preconditions. One thing I do know for sure is that he said like he's used lean or uses lean. Which I believe is an opioid. And another thing I know is that with opioids when you quit them or withdraw from them you can have a seizure and die opioids and alcohol are both drugs that when trying to get off of you run the risk of death from withdrawal complications so it's entirely possible that his death was from a withdrawal response basically so which is very unfortunate it's very sad and like RIP for him and also like his mother and family and friends and everybody like especially just like his mom so young just have to bury your child and I honest to God feel like it's because he was on some fucking opioid type drugs and he like his body had a shit response because he was probably trying to get better maybe maybe not I don't know Maybe he was preconditioned and susceptible to seizures. I don't know, but I doubt it. I feel like that would have been touched on or covered at this point in his life if he was. So, you know what I mean? It's just weird. It's strange. So, R.I.P. Juice World. His music was impactful and it, it is dope. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.